Good day, ma'am. I am Sheila Marie Di De La Cruz from BSN3B. In this return demonstration, I will be performing oxygen administration via nasal cannula and or simple face mask. In this procedure, these are the materials or equipment that I will be using. Alcohol, disposable gloves, nasal cannula, simple face mask, stethoscope and alcohol pad, and the humidifier setup for oxygen. So, let's proceed. So, the first thing to do is to check for the doctor's order. Make sure to verify the oxygen delivery method, flow rate, and duration of therapy. This is done to avoid medical error. Next, gather the necessary equipment and supplies. Rationale for this is to ensure the availability of equipment and sterility of supplies before the procedure begins and to save time and effort. Next, perform hand hygiene and provide patients privacy. So this is done to prevent the spread of infection. Next, introduce yourself to the patient and family, then explain the purpose and procedure to the patient. Rationale for this is to encourage or promote participation in care and understanding of health status. Hi ma'am, I am Nurse Sheila. I will be your nursing assistant for today. So there is an order for oxygen therapy for you today. So the purpose of this procedure is to maintain adequate tissue oxygenation. So is it clear for you? Yes. So the next thing to do is to identify the patient using the two identifier. Compare identifiers with the information of the patient on her medical record with the information on the patient's ID bank. Two identifiers such as name and birthday. The rationale for this is to make sure that you are handling the right patient. So ma'am, can you say to me your full name and birthday? Okay, thank you. So the next thing to do is to assess the patient's respiratory system including respiratory rate, sputum condition, lung sounds. Also check for the oxygen saturation and arterial blood gases if available. The rationale for this is to assess the respiratory condition and find out any abnormalities of the client as soon as possible. So ma'am, before I proceed with the oxygen therapy, I'm going to check for your vital signs. Is that alright? So let's say this is the improvised pulse oximeter. So we're going to measure your oxygen saturation. So there. So can you take some deep breaths for me? Okay, thank you, ma'am. So now Attach the oxygen delivery device to the oxygen tubing, then attach the tubing to the oxygen source adjusted to the prescribed flow rate. Rationale for this is to uh, preparation of the oxygen equipment and testing the flow before use is needed to provide prescribed oxygen to the client. Also, when an oxygen flow rate greater than 4 liters per minute has been ordered, apply a humidified oxygen source. The rationale for this is that humidification prevents the drying of the nasal mucosa. So now to apply the nasal cannula, going to, so this is my nasal cannula, we're going to open. So, to position the nasal cannula, place the tips in the patient's nares and adjust the elastic headband or the plastic slide so that it fits comfortably and snugly. The rationale for this is that proper positioning allows unobstructed oxygen flow and eases patient's respiration. So now, ma'am, we're going to insert the nasal cannula for your oxygen.
then adjust this. Then we're going to connect this on our oxygen source. So I'm going to connect here. So now we're, we connected the nasal cannula. So how is that, ma'am? Uh, does that feel comfortable? Yes. All right. So now, ma'am, I noticed that you're still short of breath. So we're going to change the nasal cannula into a face mask instead. So we're going to remove this. And we're going to change for a simple face mask. So attach the... So this is my face mask and the tubing. So attach the delivery device into the oxygen tubing. Then now we're going to attach the tubing into the oxygen source. So to put on the face mask, guide the elastic strap over the top of the patient's head then bring the strap down to just below the client's ears the rationale for this is to hold the mask most firmly so then next gently but firmly pull the strap extensions which is these straps to center the face mask on the patient's face So the rationale for this is to prevent any leaks as much as possible. So how does that feel, ma'am? Does that feel comfortable? Alright. Also secure the tubing into the patient's clothing if necessary. The rationale for this is to prevent the tubing from getting out of place accidentally. Or you can place it here. So confirm that the oxygen source and flow meter has been set up properly and calibrated to deliver the oxygen at a prescribed flow rate. Ensure that the ball of the flow rate is even with the liters per minute order. Then assess the proper placement of the face mask on the patient's face. The rationale for this is to maintain the doctor's prescription and avoid oxygen toxicity and also, and also to make sure that the oxygen being delivered is appropriate. Also, you may encourage the, the patient to breathe through her nose and expire from her mouth. So the rationale for this is that breathing through the nose inhales more oxygen into the trachea, which is less likely to be exhaled through the mouth. So ma'am, I encourage you to breathe or inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. So we can make sure that you're inhaling the oxygen. So can you do it? Okay, can you please inhale and exhale two times? Alright, you may check the cannula or mask every 8 hours or according to agency policy and keep the humidification container filled with water at all times as part of your follow-up care. So now, we're going to place the call light within easy reach and make sure that the patient knows how to use it to summon assistance. Also, you may help the patient into a comfortable position. The rationale for this is to ensure patient's safety. You may also raise side rails or lower the bed to the lowest position to ensure patient's safety. And now, document and report the patient's response and expected and unexpected outcomes. The rationale for this is that documentation provides coordination of care. After oxygen administration, reassess the patient's respiratory system including respiratory rate, lung sounds, oxygen saturation, and blood gases if needed. Then document all the procedure you did related to the oxygen administration such as delivery device and flow rate. So, so now ma'am, I'm going to remove the oxygen mask.
And I'm going to reassess your respiratory system. Again, we're going to check for your oxygen saturation and for your lung sounds. Can you take deep breath for me? All right, good. So thank you so much, ma. So the oxygen administration is done and the patient's condition has improved. So the last thing you need to do is to discard all the materials used, including the gloves, then perform hand hygiene. So that's it for the oxygen administration. Thank you for watching.